Hello parents and students watching this video. I'm Emma Davidge, Head of Senior School. Today, my aim is to share the various pathways to a successful graduation. Undoubtedly, this is an exciting time for your child as they consider their future, their strengths and their interests in preparation for subject selection. As your child moves through the senior school, they are opened up yet again to a new level of personal responsibility within their learning. They now have full control over the pathway to graduation. In an email you've received, there's a link to a handbook. I encourage you to read this with your child over the coming days and trust this will be a useful reference point as they prepare to make choices about their education pathway. The unique two-year HSC allows students to complete three full courses in one year and students will sit the HSC examination at the end of that year. Rather than studying six subjects across two years, we are offering an opportunity to hone their skills and knowledge in a consolidated time frame. This alleviates exam anxiety and the pressure to retain information on six different subjects. Students also spend more time with the teachers, keeping the students' mind focused and funneled on the content of those three subjects. Students complete their HSC exams and then they are refreshed to complete the cycle again. Let's say you choose a path that is leading you to university. Then you'll select subjects that you know you're willing to work hard at, commit time to study and revise, and this will result in an ATAR for uni. Let's say you're not heading towards university. Then the ATAR is not relevant to you and your focus should be on choosing subjects that are going to give you some experience in the industry of your choice. Vocational, education and training courses play a role in helping students prepare for further education, training, employment and lifelong learning. These courses are widely recognised by the community. Students in New South Wales have the option of studying VET courses here at Charlton and at other local venues. Some VET courses have an HSC exam, some have work placements, and some VET courses can lead toward a traineeship or an apprenticeship. There is no right or wrong pathway. Each choice is individual and the child's strengths should be taken into consideration when choosing options for stage six. It's exciting to think that you are now in control of the courses and the choice is over to you. It's almost too hard to make some decisions. From here, the next steps are to read through the handbook and look at the courses you're interested in. Watch the subject videos and hear firsthand from the teachers what the content of the course is about. On campus, have conversations with teachers if you need more information. And lastly, we want you, Year 10 students, to engage with the futures process if you are a first time parent or student to stage six, then you'll be hearing all sorts of acronyms. You'll hear ATAR, HSC, UAC, VET, and many others. There's a helpful guide of what these terms mean in the early pages of your handbook. Our year 10 students have recently completed the well-renowned Clifton Gallup Strengths Test in Equip. We use this information to gather a full picture of the student. They are now aware of their own strengths when it comes to thinking, feeling and behaving. Couple that with the semester one report and the future conference planned in early term three. And we now have a holistic view of your child as an individual, rather than the one dimensional academic only viewpoint. By identifying these strengths, we are focused on building upon the unique qualities your child has and how this will impact their relationships and academic abilities moving forward. Therefore, with this in mind, you're a little more informed about the senior school and the way we equip students for life. I trust you can stew on that information. It will help guide the decision-making process around electives. Some students will want to get an ATAR and go to university, and some will combine vocational subjects and mainstream subjects and still qualify for an ATAR whilst getting their HSC. There are also a number of students who will pick subjects without the intention of university study, but the experience they gain may lead them to a job in this area. At the end of these options, you will walk away with an HSC, providing that is what you want. Whatever path you decide to take, we have a number of options that will suit you. At the end of year 12, we will have equipped and helped shape these students to be resilient young men and women. They must be able to stand in front of employers, engage with the wider community and play an active role in their families. We will teach them how to form positive, healthy relationships and enter tertiary career options. We are mindful that the development of these students will encompass the child's vision for life, love, integrity, faith and empowerment. 
I trust that you have been able to navigate your way through the acronyms and now have a deeper understanding of the options available.